What's up, guys? My name is Jackal. We are here for Red Version. Let's go. Last time we beat Brock, whooped his ass, explored Pewter City and all of its wonders and glory, and uh, we started battling some of these trainers over here, and we're going to keep doing that. Who's up in front? Who do I want up there? Oh yeah, Pikachu already got to level 10. I forgot. We're going to put him in front because there should be quite a few people that have like bird pokes around here. Give him the zapping of the zapping of a Christ. Alright. So we beat... Nope, I didn't want to do that. But we fought him last time. Just checking, just checking. Just wanted to make sure. Did that on purpose. Alright, yep, you've been fought. You have not been, though. That look you gave me, so intriguing. Alright, cool. Want a battle? It's time to d d d d d duel. Can't go faster than lightning, baby. Did not do that much damage. All right, you can't go faster than. Oh! Peek up, peek up. Damn. All right. Let's go, Nidoran. All right, cool. Well, we both fucked that one up, so. That one can be on both of us. All right. Be gone! Pikachu gained 60. Nidoran gained 60. All right, cool. The male one. So I ended up looking up, um... I guess the, the male in the area that I picked up the female is actually a much more, uh, is a much more common find. I apparently got the less common find right away, but whatever. I like, I like my Nidoran. She cool, though. She cool. She's good folk. That's mean. I would like to have quick attack is what I would like to have. All right, Nidoran, level 11. Level 11, Pidgey! Yeah. All right. Before we go back and heal ourselves. No. Have Bubbles or come over here and whoop some ass. So he needs to. Got to do the thing. Nice. This dude's going the wrong way in the parking lot. <laughs> nice. So it was nice over the weekend. I got to watch that. Uh, I watched the new Pixar movie. Turning Red. And man. I have said it before and I will say it again. I am tired of people making big deals about movies for nothing absolutely nothing that movie was I was expecting something like really outrageous by the way people were talking about it bro that movie was fucking funny all the cringy behavior those girls did mimicked so many girls that I knew in middle school and high school all the like anime drawings that girls used to do that I knew oh man it was like a direct flashback back into time. Especially because, I guess the year that it's set up in, those girls are chronologically only like a year older than I am. So, like, I understand that era and, like, the shit that they would do. So, like, I I get it. Nope. I, I, like I said before, Bulbasaur is not evolving till level 20. Why? No idea. I like it. I did it when I was younger, and I'm going to do it now again for some reason, and I don't really know the reason why, and I don't really, I don't really care. Hey. 
But no, man, like, obviously the movie is about, like, you know, girls getting their period for the very first time. But other than the lines that, like, directly were addressing the fact that it was like, hey, look, this is about a girl's period. Other than that, all of these dudes that you see online who are talking about, like, oh, yo, I'm just not able to identify with this. Like, especially when they're adults. Like, bro, I'm... I'm going to be 32 this year. I remember what puberty was like. I definitely can understand and identify with the feeling like your hormones when you start like feeling shit in weird ways that you didn't used to feel shit before. I can understand how you can like equate that to that being like a monster inside of you. Because, bro, I remember, like, days of, like, staring at girls' like lower backs, waiting for them to inch forward to see if I could see their underwear a little bit. Like, real cringe shit, but, like, you're young, and, like, you're, you're just finally starting to get attracted to, you know, I mean, for me, I'm, I'm heterosexual, so, of course, for me, it was, you know, getting attracted to, to women, and... I remember how inconvenient that shit could honestly be. Like, just out of nowhere, your fucking dick getting hard. You didn't even want it to. It just decided, like, oh, hey, yo, what up? I just wanted to remind you I'm here. And you're like, oh, what? Excuse me. And it's just, it's just like that. And your body just starts doing shit that's out of your control. So when I hear that, like, you know... There's dudes out there who watch this movie and are like, yeah, I couldn't really identify with this, like, movie at all. Like, bro, where were you during your puberty? Especially because I started growing hair in funny places by the time I was 10. Because I think it was between 4th and 5th grade for me that I started, you know, growing hair in funny places. And, so, I mean, I was a bit of an early bloomer compared to most people. But, man, do I remember all that shit. So, you know, there's a lot of it. There's a lot of that movie that I connected with. Bro, the Jigglypuff's annoying. Be gone. And I exit the battle with full health. <laughs> Fuck out of here. Ooh. Old boy is still asleep. Any wild Pokemon? One? I'll fight one. Bloop, 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 bloop. Ooh, a Pidgey. Ooh, level six, though. Well. Bye bye. Bye bye. All right, one more Pidgey for my Pikachu. Let me let me feed the rodent a little bit. Let me feed the boy. Ooh, Jigglypuff. Do I want Jigglypuff? Level three. I do not want Jigglypuff. Or at least not that one. All right, cool. We move on. Boom, boo doo Oh, no. I don't think trainers turn around. Better take a rest. That tunnel from Cerulean takes a lot out of you. From or to? Spiro. I don't know if you're better than Pidgey, but my Pidgey's already at level 11. So... I'm gonna have to tell you... No. You know, I just wanted Pikachu to get to level 11. What's what's taking old boy so long here? 77, Jesus. Are levels stacked with Pokemon? Or not stacked. Are levels like predetermined like experiences between the levels? Or is it different between different Pokemon? Like a Pokemon going from 10 to 11, is it different for a Pidgey and a Pikachu, or is it random? 
Is there like a range? I don't know. But yeah, it was funny that fucking, um, if anything, that movie Turning Red actually pulled a little bit of a BoJack Horseman on you at the very end there. Because, it, I mean, you can kind of get the vibes of this early on, but it becomes readily available that, or, it becomes evident. Well, however, I don't know if that phrase made sense with that. It became clear as day that... The, from the moment that the grandmother character spoilers if you haven't watched the movie I guess and you would ever want to um from the moment the grandma is introduced and you see how terrified the mom is of the grandma you can tell okay this is gonna be some like reoccurring generational shit and you know that's that's the route that it takes you know the the mom had the exact same sorts of struggles that the daughter had, you know, the same worries, the same self-doubts, the same worries about being perfect, all of this shit, like, it's all exactly the same. So, you know, you get a lot of people who are just, you know, unfortunately, whether they know it or not, passing on a lot of the same traumas that they faced and went through onto their kids, even if they want them to avoid it. <coughs> Ouch, I tripped over a rocky Pokemon. Geodude. Dude. Geodude. If you have too many Pokemon, you should store them via PC. Well, the game does that for you, whether you want it to or not. I have six Pokeballs set in my belt. At most, you can carry six Pokemon. Team Rocket attacks Cerulean citizens. Team Rocket is always in the news. Oh yeah, Cerulean is the city I'm going to. So yeah, that was the tunnel from Cerulean. I was in Pewter. Hello there, I've got a deal for you. I'll let you have a swell Magikarp for just 500. I mean, isn't it basically customary that like you gotta get the Magikarp? I don't know if it's available in every generation of Pokemon, but like... I feel like when you can get one, you kind of have to get one, don't you? I feel like you gotta. I mean, like, let's face it. Dragonite is Dragonite. And is always gonna be Dragonite. Um... Getting him up there as soon as possible would really be for the best. I also want a... I want a Zubat. Because I feel like I remember Golbat being a pretty good Pokemon later on. I don't remember... TM12, you say? What is this? Ooh, 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 Water gun. No one can use water gun. Not even the useless fucking fish. Alright. We got another item. Alright. Battle time. But no, I thought, I thought Turning Red was a fine fucking movie. I thought it was good. I thought the lesson was fine. And also, to be totally honest, the main character of the movie is almost exactly how I want either of my kids to be. Like, even my son, I want to, in, like, embody a lot of that shit. Like, I don't want a kid who's, like, not going, like, who's going to be afraid to ever voice any sort of opinion on what they want or what they have any interest in. Like, there's one thing to like, yeah, you have to serve your family, you know, you gotta kinda, you gotta abide by the rules that your parents set. But also, your parents have to also give you that wiggle room 
to start branching out and being yourself. Bro, Nidoran, you are missing. Come on, girl. Let's go. Let's get that shit together. There you go. This motherfucker who's boss. All right. Bruh, you suck. Oh, God damn it. Inconvenient time for... Cool, all right. Vine Whip. It's not going to do a lot, but it very... Oh, God, no. Thundershock counts as special, right? Alright, well nothing's happening. Come on, Bulbasaur, get a crit. Get a crit, get a crit, get a crit, get a crit, 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 crit. Nope. You're not gonna do it for me? Yeah! Do it for daddy. Yeah. There we go! Yeah. Alright, cool. That's where the egg, that's where we came from. Beware, Zubat, a blood Zubat is a blood sucker. Right, it is a bat. You gotta worry about your ass getting bit by a fucking Zubat. Clefairy. bring up Pidgey. Let's do a bunch of sand attacks here. Ooh. Just blind this motherfucker. Bling, bling. It does make a really adorable sound. Oof. Bruh. Most unkind. Oh, I forgot you got Sing too. Oh no. Oh no. Pika. Pika Chew. Get out of here. You're a cock. You're such a dick. Oh, what a cunt. Come on, wake up, bro. Wake up. Bro, this is brutal. Alright, paralyze. You already can't aim. Now be paralyzed and slower than me. Wow! Pokemon must have fucking high special. Oh, holy hell. All right, Magikarp, good job. All of y'all fucking helped. All right. No, I don't gotta go nowhere. What am I doing? Alright, there was an item down below that I want. Is this a Zoob? I need a Zoob. I need Zoob! Zoobies. Zooby dude. That's unfortunate.
All right. Who knows? Maybe Zubat sucks ass. You know, I could be totally wrong on this one. I could just be shooting in the dark and just be wrong about it. Gotta catch them all, Pokemon. There we go, baby. Forms colonies in perpetually dark places. Uses ultrasonic waves to identify and approach targets. No. Alright, um, you know what? We're gonna go back. We're just gonna, uh... Hey, what up, Geo dude? I'm not getting you. I know I've had you in... I know I've had you in the past. I don't really, I don't really like Geo dude. He could be totally awesome. I just don't want him. Don't know why. I don't even know how well balanced my team is. My team could suck Balzac. But I know Geodude can't defend against that. Alright, cool. Boo doo boo 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 doo boo boo boo. Hell yeah. Alright. I don't really know what Pokemon there are after this. Like, I remember playing this early part of the game so much as a kid. I don't really know what else is after this area that I could want to get. At this point, it's pretty much jumping in the dark. So I guess we, uh, we got our Zoobs. We got our fucking da na 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 Batman. So I think it's time to just continue on for a little bit. Alright. Come on, Nidoran. That is super lame. Wow, it doesn't even matter. Alright. Try to hit him once, and if it doesn't work, then I guess we just trade it out. Please and thank you. Cool, that did nothing. Alright. Let's bring Big Dick out here. Big Dick B. Our weed dino. Please just smack him. Please. Oh, I hate you. The literal worst. Worst. Oh my god, I hate this fucking move. Anything that confuses you is the fucking worst. If I gotta run away from a goddamn Zubat, I'm gonna be so upset. I was gonna say, please don't. For the love of god, don't. Ugh. We're just going to go right back to the fucking uh, Pokemon Center. And I'm just going to save the game and that's going to be it for today. Just fine. You know, our guys aren't, you know, this makes me feel good because usually I'll overlevel myself like a motherfucker and it doesn't feel good. All right. We're just going to leave. Spread out the experience that thin and it's basically worthless, but whatever. Squad needs work. Squad needs work. There's only really right now... Well... I think next time what we're going to do is we're going to start working on Zubat a little bit. Doing him instead of Magikarp because... At least Zubat will be able to, in the very near future, fight back. Magikarp will be able to fight back, but not nearly as soon. So... Oh, let me look at that badge that I got. Ah, uh, it looks so good. Because walking through this cave is going to suck. Till next time, guys. Next time we hopefully get out of this cave. Peace. Ow.